A new declaration to help those impacted by January's winter storms was approved, and people will now be able to provide grants across the state to private nonprofits and small businesses. Fox 12's Flynn Aguilar joins us from Northeast Portland to break it all down. Riel, nearly 1,400 small businesses were had great economic loss because of that winter storm in January, one of them being DB Dessert Company right behind me. Now, they had to take their shop all the way down to its studs because of how much water damage they got. This is just an example of a small business that could apply for that federal grant. Organizations, businesses, and others across the state experienced power outages, damaged utility poles, and downed trees, all from the January winter storm. On Sunday, Governor Kotek announced President Biden approved a major disaster declaration in response to the January winter weather emergency. With a damage assessment of nearly $50 million, the declaration will provide grants through the Federal Emergency Management Agency's Public Assistance Program to the state, tribal, local government, and private nonprofits and small businesses. It's estimated that small businesses suffered a substantial economic loss total of over $165 million. And this was our, our decorator space. Damela Badon, owner of DB Dessert Company, has had to close their doors after they had water damage from the January storm. There was water coming from everywhere, like everything's frozen, it's ice stickles coming out the windows. It was just uh, a nightmare. It was almost like I was standing in the rainforest. It was that amount of water. But Dawn says the last three months have been tough. And we have lots of overhead bills and all of that still, you know, still exists and still has to be paid, but we have no income because we can't open our doors. She says her three-year-old company costs $20,000 a month just to stay afloat. The funds that we've had, you know, saved up that we've depleted, that's just, you know, what gets paid can get paid and what can't can't. But Dawn says after hearing about the possibility of a federal grant, she would apply for at least $60,000. I think it is important that people have access to funds. I think the hard part is, you know, hope, hoping that they go to people who actually need them. Um, there are, you know, a lot of businesses that need the support. She says she's lost about 85000 in revenue since closing in January. We are at the point where we have to deal with mold. And so now we have to treat the studs before we can actually even rebuild. Um, so that has to happen. And then next we have to put back all the walls, all the floors, um, put back, you know, all the cabinetry. And she hopes to keep her company afloat for her family and loyal customers being able to connect with the community on, you know, those personal levels. You know, I'd love to get back to that, but that's probably the, the most important part that I miss. Demela tells me that she's about a month and a half away from having to make that tough decision of whether or not to keep her shop open. She does have a GoFundMe if you would like to help. But if you would like more information on that federal grant and how to apply, we'll have all of those links at our website at kptv.com. Reporting in Northeast Portland, Pauline Aguilar, Fox 12, Oregon.